Hi everyone and welcome. In this review note, we are going to configure network address translation on our Palo Alto firewalls to allow hosts on the internet to connect to our web server in the DMZ. You will need to have completed your security policies exercise and it would also be helpful if you configured the outgoing NAT that is also part of this practice exercise. When we configured NAT outbound, we did not have to do anything with security policies because we already had security policies in place. We do not have a security policy to allow traffic from the internet to the DMZ. So before we create the NAT policy, we have to create our security policy first. In policies, we'll select security and we will create a new one. This is going to be internet to DMZ. And in this case, we are going to allow hosts on the internet to connect to our web server in the DMZ. Our source zone is going to be the internet. Our destination zone is going to be the DMZ. We could set further restrictions if we wish to on this policy, but we're not going to do that for the purposes of demonstration. We'll say OK, and we will see our new policy is now created. Now we also need a NAT policy. So we'll see that we have our original NAT policy that allows internal to the internet. We're going to add a new one. So we'll call this Internet Web to DMZ. Put in a reasonable description. Now, and we'll have to make sure again that this is NAT type of IPv4. Now, for the original packet, we are going to add a source zone of the internet. We're going to add a destination zone of the internet. And our destination interface is going to be Ethernet 1.1, which connects to the internet zone. Now, that might seem a wee bit weird. Uh, the reason we're doing this, remember, is that the original packet is never going to transit the firewall. So it's going to be fed into the NAT process and it's going to stop there. The other thing we're going to do in this case is we're going to specify to only allow the HTTP service. So if there is a request for any other type of service, the NAT process will immediately discard that request. The other thing we're going to do is match our destination address. So we're going to add here the IP address that's assigned to Ethernet 1.1, or in other words, the internet facing interface. So we're going to make sure that we're going to respond to traffic that's actually pointed to that IP address. Now for our translated packet, we're not going to translate source, but we are going to translate destination. In this case, we're going to translate to a static IP. And the IP address is going to be that of our web server. And that's all we need to do for that. We'll click OK. And we can see that our new rule is created. We can commit the changes so that we can test that all this works. So we'll commit, commit. And I'll be back once the commit is completed, and then we can try it out. OK, our commit is completed. We'll close this out. Let's hop over to our VMs and see what they see from an addressing perspective. In this case, VM1 is the web server in the DMZ. So I'm going to start TCP dump here to monitor the traffic. Let's go over to VM2 first. This is on our internal zone, so there will be no translation here. Just going to use links to access the website. Here's our website. We're all successful for that. Well, that's great. Now let's go over and do the same thing on VM3, which is out on the internet. 
and we get access to the website from there. And looking at the actual host that has the website on it, we can see that traffic up here at the top. Uh, here is a record here that is being accessed from internal. So notice that the source IP address is 172.16.200.10, which of course is assigned to that VM. And if we look at traffic down at the bottom that's coming from the internet, we'll see that this is a little bit different story. Remember that when we sent the packet from the internet, the source IP is from 172.16.2.10 which it still is, and that makes total sense because we did not translate the source address. However, we were sending that traffic to 172.16.1.2, which was the interface on the firewall that faced the internet. Now we can see that the destination address is for kit 62 vm one which is 172.16.60.10, and we're still using the HTTP port, which is port 80. So in this case, the translation is on the destination address rather than on the source. It's a wrap for the video. Hopefully this has been helpful for you, and we'll see you next time.